Hi, I'm Andrea and welcome to Productive C Sharp. In this video, I want to talk about C Sharp Delegates. This is a console application. Let me quickly explain what it does and then we can use delegates in this, in this console application. So, there is a calculate method that is taking two integers from the console and then it's calling the sum method to do the sum of the two integers saving that value in a result variable and then calling the method print to print the result to the console. So if I run this method, you can see that is waiting for me to type two numbers and then it's printing the sum of them. What I want to show you is um, how can I, I can use delegates in order to make the calculate method more flexible. And with flexible, I mean that I want to be able to provide my own way of printing the result and my own way of doing an operation given two integers. I don't want the calculate method to be specific for sums and actually printing with a console. Okay, so let me show you how delegates can help in this scenario. So a delegate is a, um, a, a reference to a method. That's the best way to describe it. Um, if you know C++, is effectively a way to implement function pointers in C Sharp uh, with many av advantages. Uh, I'm gonna go into that details later. So let me show you how you can create a delegate in C Sharp. A delegate is effectively, um, it's gonna be effectively a type that you create in, the, in your program and you use the delegate keyword in order to create that. So you do something like that. You use the delegate keyword and then you specify uh, a function signature. So let me say I want to do uh, oops, display. So void display int n is a, the signature of a method that takes an integer and return nothing. And by using the delegate keyword, I'm effectively creating a typed type called display that can be used in order to create uh, references to methods that match the same signature. So I can assign to any, any type of display, any, any method that takes one integer and return nothing. So let me show you how to create an instance of a delegate. So I can create a display instance in the same way I usually create types uh, instance of types in C sharp, but the value of a delegate type is effectively the method name. So print. So as you can see now, I've created an instance of a display type called display that is pointing to a method called print. Okay, I'm passing this display into this function. So this function now is taking a delegate of type display and instead of calling print here after I, I got the result I call now display. So you can use a delegate as if it was a method. What happened at runtime is effectively calling the method that the delegate is referencing. But the cool stuff is that the method that the delegate is referencing to can be changed at runtime. And the calculate method doesn't need to know what that method is. So now the calculate method is completely unaware that display is going to actually print to the console. The only things that the calculate method cares about is just to call this uh, display, invoke this display delegate, and it doesn't care what actually that method does. It could do anything, it could send an email, it could do print to the console or anything else, okay? So if I run this program and I pass one and four, now the behavior is preserved. The difference is that now calculate is, uh, is, more, um, is more flexible. You might have noticed that I can actually remove this explicit delegate creation. So I can just remove all of that and I can just simply assign the method name here to a variable of type display. The other interesting things is that, as I said, I can change, I can point a display to any method that implement the same uh, interface, the same method signature. And for example, let's say I want to use the pretty print method here inside this class. You can 
also assign um, instance method to a delegate. So let's say, for example, I create an instance of the printer and then I pass the pretty print method. So this also works. Now, I haven't changed anything inside calculate, but now the behavior is different because when I try to display the result, it was, it's, gonna, it's going to use the pretty print method at runtime instead of the print method. So let me run it and see what happened. I pass a four and five, and now I get the pretty print result is nine instead of the other one, okay? So that's what a delegate allows you to do. You can change um, the method that a, a delegate is referencing in order to change the behavior of your application at runtime. And you can create uh, methods that takes delegates to make, uh, po to make it possible to customize uh, how a particular result is processed, okay? Now, let's do the same, for example, for the operation. Let's say I want to also make the operation uh, polymorphic. Let me create another delegate. Now, this delegate is returning an integer. Let me call it operation. And it's taking two numbers, A and B, and that's it. Now, what I can do, I can uh, let's change calculate to also take an operation operation and instead of calling sum inside here I just call operation oops I just call operation and here I create an instance of operation and let me point that to product that is another method that I have that actually does the product instead of the sum and I pass it to the calculate so what's the expected behavior now that we simply do the product and then we do a pretty print. Let me run it, four and five, four and three, and I got 12 using the pretty print method. So let me explain what are the advantages of using delegates. So if you are aware of um, uh, the strategy pattern in uh, object-oriented programming, um, the Strategy patterns effectively allows you to use the uh, polyfor polymorphic behavior of a hierarchy of classes in order to customize the behavior around time. You can have a base class and have many subclasses, each one implementing the same method in different ways. So you could have achieved something similar using uh, a hierarchy of classes and passing the, up the base class to, the, to your method and then calling the display method. But you, you, with the delegates, you can achieve the same result, so the same polymorphic behavior at runtime with a lot less code. Because you, the only things you need to do is to simply um, point the delegate to a, a method that match the kind of signature that you, you expect, and that's it. And then uh, you can just simply call a delegate as if it was a simple method and uh, you, you, you get a runtime uh, behavior that's changed um, dynamically. So it's quite powerful. Delegate is a way to customize behavior around time. In fact, what I can do is, you know, I can just change at any time the value of operation. I can just point that to sum now. So if I do that, now sum will be called a runtime. So you can change the what the delegate type is pointing to at runtime based on what the user does. I could have just displayed an option of possible operation um, in the console, let the user choose, and then change dynamically the, the delegate type that will be used for the calculation. And you can achieve all of these sort of uh, behaviors using delegates. Uh, delegates are very, very popular in C Sharp. Is um, uh, a very common mechanism that is used in order to do like uh, ca callbacks or implementing events that we can see in a separate video. So it's very important to understand exactly how delegates works under the covers to to really understand the power of, of delegates. If you're using C Sharp 3, uh, you, that's even better because C Sharp 3 already predefined for you uh, two two different kinds of delegates called actions and functions that cover pretty much all the scenarios. So that means that we you can use action and function that are generics to instead of defining your own delegate type. So we, uh, we're going to cover that in a separate video. Uh, but um, uh, in C Sharp 3, you can simply use action and functions to uh, in, instead of using your custom delegate types and you can achieve effectively the same level of... Uh, uh, customized behavior as I've shown you today. 
The cool things about delegates also, compared to other languages like C++, is that the delegates are effectively type safe. It's so not like C++ function pointer that can point to anything. The method that you assign to a delegate type need to match exactly the signature that is expected. So if I have an operation here and I pass the method print, the compiler is not happy. And the reason why it's not happy is because the print doesn't matter, doesn't match the delegate signature. It's uh, The compiler is looking for a print method that takes two integers and return an integer, but it's, it doesn't find it, so it just shows an error. So there is no way you can assign um, a method that you know is different than the signature defined in your delegate types. So delegate types are effectively strong uh, type safe. It is one of the key principles of C-sharp is to be a, very, a type safe language. Okay, the last things I want to show you is uh, that delegates in C-sharp are a bit more powerful than uh, uh, function pointers in, in C++ because they can point to different methods. So effectively, a delegate type is not just a simple reference to a method, but it's a reference to a method chain. So you can have more than one method that is called when you when you actually invoke a single delegate. Let me show you how you can do that. Uh, you can use the operator plus equals to add another method to, to the same delegate. So now the display delegate is pointing to the pretty print method and the print method. When the calculate method is calling display, effectively both the methods that are registered in the delegate will be called at runtime. Let me show you that to you. If I run this method now, I pass one and three, now I get the pretty print and the normal print methods called. Okay? So you can also do the this this with the delegates in C sharp. There are some limitations. Uh, the first limitation you need to know about is that uh, if there is an error that happened, an exception that happened in any of these methods, the method chain calls ends. There is also no guarantee in the order of uh, method calls. And also, if you have a, a function, a delegate that points to different uh, methods and uh, those methods return values, only the last values will be returned. Let me demonstrate that easily with you. If I, for example, add sum here, so which one will be printed, product or sum? Obviously, you can't say, the compiler can't really promise that sum will be called, but if I run it, uh, most of the time, the call is happening in the order. So five and six is printing 11. So it's effectively calling sum. So the method product is effectively, the result of the method product is effectively ignored. So so this is something to keep, to be aware of. So honestly, um, this sort of uh, multi-chain delegates is not used uh, very often. Uh, it's mostly, this kind of synthesis is mostly used when you have events that I'm gonna cover in a separate video. But for, for delegates, it's usually not so common. So um, I do not recommend that to use that. Okay, so let me quickly wrap up here. Delegates in C-sharp uh, has been introduced since the first version of the language. They allows you to create types that represent references to methods. In fact, the value of a delegate is effectively a method. You can assign a method name to a delegate and you Delegates allows you to customize the behavior of your code at runtime in a, in, a, in a very flexible way. Delegates can are effectively a way to implement the strategy pattern in a very short and compact way um, in C Sharp. Delegates are type safe, and uh, so do not provide any of the downsides of uh, function pointers like C, C++. So I strongly recommend you to understand delegates. If you are using a, a version of C Sharp that is after uh, starting from version three, I recommend you to use action and function that are already predefined delegates. Uh, and um, that's pretty much it about delegates. So play with this uh, concept, uh, download the, the code and start to play with delegates to really understand how they work. And uh, thank you very much for listening.